and thank you for watching this review video. Today we have the Merits P327, also known as the Vision Super by Merits Health USA. It comes with flip up armrests, a seatbelt, and the height adjustable headrest on a captain's chair, which has the option to upgrade to the elevating edition, which allows you to rise the chair automatically up and down. The foot plates do flip up and they are height adjustable. The weight capacity of this chair is 450 pounds and it has a top speed of 5 miles per hour. On a full charge, this chair can go up to 20 miles and it has several seat options. As you can see, the chair does have a semi-recline option and the ability to fold flat forward with the recline lever on the right side. This makes it convenient for transporting the chair once you remove the top part of the chair. You can remove the chair, it's pretty easy to do so. We'll demonstrate how shortly. But as you can see with that chair folded all the way forward, it's pretty compact, making it very convenient for transportation. We're going to demonstrate now that the armrests are height adjustable. There are some tension knobs on the rear of each armrest, simply loosen them, and then lower or rise the armrests to the desired comfort level that you or the intended user would like to set them at. In the rear, you'll also notice that there's a universal one inch accessory port. It can be used for large rear baskets, cane holders, oxygen tank holders, and many other aftermarket accessories. It does have two rear reflectors. This is a mid-wheel drive unit, so you're going to have two smaller wheels in the back and two wheels in the front that are smaller. You can remove the seat. You have to locate the yellow lever in the back. To release the seat, you want to push that yellow lever down and then lift the seat up. But first, we're going to show you how to remove the wire or disconnect the wire rather for the joystick controller. You're going to want to disconnect that wire because it's not going to be good if you remove the seat with the wire connected you could break the wire so make sure you remove that wire first. First find the wire towards the base of the chair and see if it's attached to the armrest with zip ties. Sometimes it has velcro zip ties that are used to attach that wire to the armrest depending on how it was assembled. You can disconnect the harness right from the rear of the joystick controller. Once it's disconnected, lower that yellow lever, tilt the seat forward, and then slide it back. There are two hooks at the bottom side of the chair towards the front that are going to hook into the front rail, and we'll show you how to put that back together here in just a moment. Here on the base of the chair, you can see that there are some quick release pins, four of them, and you can release those, pull them out, and then rise up that bar to adjust the seat height on the back and the front. Make sure that when you align those pins up that they're all set at the same point so that you don't have a chair that is uneven or unstable. You're going to want to make sure that the height on both the front and the back is the same when you're adjusting the height of the chair base. So to put the seat back on once you're done adjusting it, you're going to want to identify the two hooks that are in the front and understand that those are going to hook into the front rail. Once you have those hooked into the front rail, you can drop the rear part into the clipping system and it's going to pretty much handle the job on its own. You'll just want to hear a little click to make sure that it fell into place correctly. So we'll show you how that's done. Just hook the front two hooks into the bar. And again, you want to make sure that those two hooks are lined up before sliding it forward. It might take a little bit of wiggling, but once they're in, you'll feel it if you have somebody to help you guide you it's always better too. Now that the chair is back on the base you'll want to take that wire and reconnect it to the rear of the joystick port. The harness doesn't go in incorrectly any way that won't fit. You can't really put it in any other way than the right way so make sure that that uh, harness is connected and then use the provided zip tie velcro zip ties or any other zip ties that you may have to secure that wire for the joystick to the armrest so it's out of the way. One thing to keep in mind is just to be careful not to have that wire too tight because if you flip up the armrest and it's too tight, you may impede the flip up process. So don't leave it too, too tight and not too loose. Find that comfortable spot. We're going to show you the joystick controller now, uh, but on the base, you're going to see a little port. That's for the XLR charger that came with the power wheelchair. When you first get your chair, we recommend charging it overnight. But after that, depending on how low the batteries are, usually takes about four to six hours to charge it. Here you can see the speed control knob 
all the way clockwise is going to make it go fast all the way to the left counterclockwise is going to make it go slow the lights above that are for the battery it does have a horn as you can see which is pretty loud and the joystick works just like any other joystick on any other power wheelchair it takes a little getting used to if you haven't used one before but basically turning left and right will rotate it forward and back goes forward and back all in all we highly recommend this power wheelchair it has full suspension and many custom options it's tax free and shipping is free at mobilityscootersdirect.com thank you so much for watching have a great day